if we're going to transition from this world to prosperity programs and abundance, the Galactic Federation knew darn well that they had to gradually give it to us. Now, the powers that be uh, found out a whole bunch of things about solid state electronics. They didn't learn about it, which is the basis of everything that we do today, the modern computer and everything, even the medium that I am using to talk to you today. So think of it all. If you're from an advanced world and you've already gone beyond money and you want to help this society go beyond money and change its spiritual potential to an incredible one that's infinite, to do that, you had to first of all change the whole concept about money. We have to unlearn about money. We can't keep it. But we need to do the initial aspect of using that money so that we can get rid of it and transform it. We need to change our mindset. Instead of obsessing over the things you can't change, focus on what you can. Your attitude, your mindset, your energy. You need to overcome the manipulations of the Anunnaki. Now, they realize that, that being the Federation, the Galactic Federation. How are they using abundance and prosperity going to change the mindset? Well, first of all, we already know the Anunnaki have already programmed within us that if you have abundance, you've got to have material goods. Question, how much material goods do you need? There gets to be a point where it becomes meaningless. But that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to make it meaningless. Excuse me. So the abundance programs and all the prosperity is about one thing. Learning deep within yourself that it is necessary to look at money as being meaningless and to create a new alternative. Now, money will always keep us in debt. So as much as we have, there's much more that can be turned into debt. The nature of money makes you a constant victim. They wanted us to get that. The pursuit of the almighty dollar, as they call it in this world, is not what this world is about. It's about consciousness. It's about understanding a spiritual potential. It's about learning how to understand what spiritual awareness of a reality means. Now, how do we start to do that? Now, first thing you realize, you've got to find a way to eliminate money. It's the purpose of money is to keep you within debt, A, and keep you running around, B, keep you occupied. Because if you're not occupied and you're not pursuing this meaningless stuff called, called money, you're in trouble. As a great Chinese philosopher, Confucius, or as he was truly known in Chinese, Gung Fu, said, real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. We have to learn in our ignorance what money is and what the length and breadth of what having money and using money is all about. Knowledge of money is the key to your inner success. We need an abundance to change the playing field. This pursuit of money can go on forever. It's already gone on for 13, nearly 13 millennia. Has it caused a great change in our reality? No. Has it kept all the things that we have 
war, division, and pestilence? Has it kept them all going strong? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So look at all of this and understand one basic principle. If you have so much money and it's almost endless, you're going to start thinking of money in a different way. So that's why the abundance programs. We need to give everybody enough money so they see money not as a means to an end, but simply as an instrument. Something that can at the right time be easily discarded. 